Section 31 of the Legal Aid Commission Act 2018, Act 977, and Section 10 of the Law Reform Commission Act 2011, Act 822, provide for the establishment of the respective funds. Since their inception, however, the Legal Aid Commission and the Law Reform Commission have been faced with budgetary constraints which have severely impeded their successful operations. Ranging from inhumane office spaces to a lack of vehicles, the two commissions have had to struggle through executing their mandates. The Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Gottfried Yabu Adami, speaking at the launch, said the funds would go a long way to support the work of the commissions. Your generous contributions after the fund have been set up will greatly assist in the attainment of the objects of the two commissions. May I repeat just for the sake of emphasis that there are two separate funds, two separate statutory funds to be established today. They will be permanent funds. You are encouraged to freely contribute to any or to both as you desire. As the funds are permanent, individuals and institutions may commit themselves to make monthly or annual contributions. Lawyers may even decide to be created part of their earthly possessions on earth to the support of the Legal Aid Commission and the Law Reform Commission. I know that the two funds will enjoy the maximum support of all. While lamenting paltry budgetary allocations of 7,000 Ghana cities at one time and 20,000 Ghana cities at another time to the Legal Aid Commission, Board Chairman Justice Nene Amegache said the fund will enhance justice delivery to the poor in society. The launch today and the support from you, our distinguished stakeholders and partners, we put in place a better organized legal aid system which will confront headlong the challenges of access to justice and place Ghana on a high pedestal among the committee of nations by the target date of 2030. There is no gain saying that this launch is of extreme relevance and great importance to the Commission as whatever income that will be generated for the Commission will enable it execute its mandate for the benefit of the poor and indigent in the Ghanaian society. For the Law Reform Commission, Board Chairman Anthony Akutu Ampal said the fund is timely. Please, we are making a strong appeal to all of you and to all Ghanaians to make substantial contribution to the funding of the commission. Because with a strong commission that is effective in carrying out its mandates, the legal conditions and framework will be established for a promotion of human rights and economic benefits. President Akufuado, in launching the funds, said government would commit an initial amount of 2 million Ghana cities to the funds with a personal commitment of 200,000 Ghana cities. I congratulate the Attorney General for his activism towards the realization of the statutory requirement to establish these two funds. Let us together mobilize to build and assist him in the discharge of this vital task. And to that end, I am personally contributing 100,000 CDs to each of the funds. And I'm aware the government, through the Ministry of Finance, is contributing an initial modest seed fund of 1 million CDs to each of the funds. 